and welcome to Home Economics class. These pupils can make their own pillowcase using the electric sewing machine. Do you know the parts of the sewing machine? If not, let's go find out! Here is an example of the manual or traditional sewing machine. Let us observe the different parts of the sewing machine. Let us memorize and identify the different parts of the sewing machine. The electric and the manual sewing machine are almost the same. Let's have a closer look of the different parts of the sewing machine. We have two kinds of sewing machine. We have the manual sewing machine and the electric sewing machine. Spool pin holds the spool of the thread. It can be horizontal or vertical in place. The bed of the sewing machine. The role of this part is to stabilize the machine to rest in a permanent place. The peed dog. The peed dog speed the fabric in the sewing direction. The peed dog also pushes the fabric to sewing direction. The balance wheel is used to manually start the sewing machine. It sets the mechanism in motion. The screw. The screw is the one holding the balance. The pressure foot applies pressure consistently on the fabric as the sewing takes place. Tension regulator. This determines the tightness or looseness of the stitch. Pick up lever. The lever pulls the thread back after each stitch. The bobbin case. It holds the bobbin in the machine and regulates the tension of the bobbin thread. The bobbin. It holds the bobbin thread. The bobbin winder spindle. It's the thread from the spool to the bobbin mechanically. The shuttle holds the bobbin case. They are responsible in making lock stitch. The needle of the sewing machine is different from our manual needle. The belt guard. The belt can be a leather band. It is responsible in holding two wheels together to run the machine. The drive wheel is a large wheel under the bed of the sewing machine. The treadle is a foot pedal that is pushed back and forth. 